Hey, this is the egg great. This is the egg great production. I'm just holding the phone. That's all that. Now we live right now. We we doing it like let's get let's get All right, it's the egg great commission radio show, and I'm here at the where am I at? The Dallas Black Chamber. The the, the former officers of the Dallas Black Chamber. Yeah, yeah. And who are you, man? I am Harrison Blair, president and CEO, and I'm standing under a tent covering, so we're warm and we're dry, mostly. In the rain, in the place to be, in sunny South Dallas, where the sun, what? Yeah. It's on this way. We'll talk about it tomorrow. We'll talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, what, what happened, man, today? Man, that's the Black Chamber of Commerce is no more. What, what, what's up? So we had a press conference to talk about tearing down or demolishing our 2838 MLK office, which is a historic building in the hearts and minds of the business leaders that we've served, but is also a, a, a building where a lot of people got their first opportunity here in, in Dallas. So we're excited to tear it down, not because we want to say goodbye only, but because this represents us leaving this building in the past, but looking to the future about all the different economic development opportunities we can now create in sunny South Dallas. And you know, the way I do it always, when I'm with my boys, you know, we just keep it just like this. We're family. This is we're family. Tell them who you are. Derek Walker, the Black Chamber of Commerce, former board member, uh, now the current director of communication and innovation. Matt Houston, local to Dallas site. And, and chair of what? The Texas Association about so that's our state umbrella that helps us with resources. We serve members, we are their members, so they are our umbrella of service. So we're glad to have Tech with us. And Matt is being modest. Uh, his dad was the president uh, and executive director when we opened this building. His dad was the staff person who christened this building, and a lot of the work that we know this building for is because of his name. And Matt has also carried that legacy. I believe you were you were born. Uh, as your dad was at a meeting yeah, in this it building. Yeah, it was Pico meeting here on a Tuesday, on a Tuesday evening. So, long in Jamaica. So, it, so, big historical figure within the chamber in his own right but also a legacy of something so wonderful to the chamber. Uh, we also had uh, the Honorable Helen Giddings to come and talk about her chairship as the first black woman on the chair of the chamber uh, and how she also christened this building and how the idea germinated from another chair that gave it to her as a leader. So today is a, a momentous occasion. We even had people write letters of goodbye to 2838 MLK. And we'll open those letters in another 10 years and see uh, what people's wishes were for this building and what their wishes are for the future as we move forward. Yeah. You know, I'm looking off because all these people are still coming in and it's raining and everything. As a historian, you know, I'm always there about building things. But you know, all of the people who helped build this great edifice, this great edifice that uh, created all of the black businesses throughout North Texas, man, they were here. They were here, actually here at this building. Hey, Macy, up here. Tell me who that was. Hey, your dad. Oh, yeah. Tom Hinson. But tell him to get his own. I want to really emphasize the importance of equity yeah. in our right environment. Now, I know that right was Black Chamber right. the hub of black leadership. Now, we were the pipeline and we want to have to provide organizational and operational uh, training uh, so that our talented uh, members of our community uh, can also contribute uh, to, to the greater good in Dallas and the state of Texas. And that is also ch uh, challenging the, 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 the equity, the gender parity that we are continuously um, trying to try to improve so that we can have the best talent, whether you're a man, woman, or whoever you identify as, can have to contribute to the world. And as we go to the close, as the brother said, there's what he said. He said, we want you to not point out, we want you to help out. And to prove that, if I want to point out that I need to give money to you, Black Chamber of Commerce. I'm going to hold myself accountable because I'm calling myself out. But I'm calling you out as well because we got a lot of work to do. Thank you, sir. I hate it. Chess said it to me. Chess said it to me. Chess said it to me. I stole your line. You go for it. 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 You go for